These days, a lot of times when I'm out in the field and I'm doing a lot of product training, a lot of technician and shop owner training, I see, unfortunately, a lack of skills which requires your ability to think through a problem. And it's not a question of calling for parts and making reference to something that you've seen three or four times ago. If that car comes in and it has a specific problem, it doesn't make a difference to me if you've seen that problem five, six, seven, or even 10 times in the past. I'd like you to treat every problem as if it was fresh and if there was no other problems you've ever seen or experienced before. That car may be unique with the problem that it's being brought into the shop for. Okay, let's talk about the six step diagnostic process. The first thing I'd like to discuss on line one here is verifying the problem. It's important that you understand when the customer brings the car in, they took a day off, they probably took time out of their busy schedule to bring the car in, so we wanna make sure we can identify exactly what the problem is that they brought it in for. Secondly, on analyzing the circuit. If you do come to a, a point in your diagnostics where you're analyzing the specific circuit, the circuit's gonna have many, many parts and you're gonna to wanna to know where the voltage is coming from, what it's going through, and what it's going to. Secondly, isolating the problem. Once you've analyzed the circuit and you see that there is deficiencies within the circuit, it's gonna be important to make sure that we isolate the problem. And through demarcation in a wiring schematic, you're gonna be able to access specific parts within the vehicle so that it makes it easy for us to troubleshoot that one section of the circuit. Locating the problem. Once you've isolated where the problem is, we'll call that area testing, if you will. Area testing brings you into an area of the vehicle where you think the problem lies. Further testing will require pinpoint diagnostics. The pinpoint diagnostics is what we're talking about here, locating the problem. Once you've located the problem, basically to progress through the next section, we're gonna repair the fault, whatever that fault happens to be. As you'll see in a couple of minutes, when you're dealing with wiring schematic issues or any types of problems within a vehicle's circuit, once it's analyzed and you've located the fault, they're gonna fall into three categories, opens, shorts, and high resistance. Verify the repair. I think this is a very, very, very important section of this area of the six-step diagnostic process. A lot of us, unfortunately, and I see this all the time in the field, we don't verify the repair. How else would you know anything was repaired? How else would you know what you did fixed anything unless you validate and verify the repair process? This to me, uh, using OBD2 terms, is like after the car has been repaired and you need to run all of the monitors to completion. Unless you ran all the monitors to completion, how would you know you've repaired anything in the car? How would you know if there's any other problems? So again, verifying the repair is an essential part of electrical troubleshooting, so please don't leave it out.